everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 16 by 20 staple back canvas and I'm going to do a puddle, puddle pour plus, I call it, where I just put the paints down in, in puddles and then I'm going to tip it and I may use some chains on it. I, I'm just not sure yet. We're just going to play with the paint today and have some fun. And I'm not going to go over all my paint colors. They're all paint colors that I had mixed up for a class I had and they're leftover. So as I go along, I'll just talk about the color of each paint. They are all Blick paints, I can tell you that. Pouring medium, two parts Floetrol, one part paint. And I don't think I had to thin any of these paints. Um, I did put Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White around the edges, the corners to help the paint flow. So let's get started. This color here is the dioxazine purple. I can tell you that. And I am just going to lay some puddles down. If you've watched some of my prior videos, you know that this is one of my favorite paintings to do. Just a lot of fun. No rules. Just can play with the paint. And I have several colors here today. Um, hoping to just make this a really, really bright painting. Come this time of year, I start looking forward for spring. I know it's a long way off, but uh, why not look ahead and Reflect that in some of the paintings that we do. If you live in a state that has all four seasons, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I may put white in between my colors. I'm not sure yet. Just uh, see what we have going on here. turquoise here. This is the only paint I had to uh, make up fresh this morning was the turquoise. Everything else was from a class that I taught a couple nights ago, which was a lot of fun. Ladies all had a really good time and they all seemed to really like their paintings they did. So I call that a success. And I just have some black here. I'm going to add a little black here and there today. And if you have watched my prior videos, you know that I don't often use black. I'm always afraid it's going to take the painting over. But with the puddle pour, you have a little more control of your paint colors because you're not mixing them in, in the same cup like a dirty pour. So there's less likely of getting a muddy or a brown effect. This is just basic blue that I had mixed up. This is a mint green or light green that I had mixed up with just the basic Blix green and then I just added some white to it to get this minty color. And let's just basic yellow here.
And this is a really a very light yellow that again just um, used basic yellow and added white to it. Okay, add a little more dioxazine purple. If I have negative space today too, that's okay. Add some more of this orangey color, orangey yellow. Go for some more red here. Try for some more turquoise. And black. And the blue.
and we'll finish up the regular yellow. more light yellow. And mint green. Well, let's do the dioxazine purple and then I'll do that mint green last. Okay, and the mint green. Just try and fill in some gaps here. Okay, now I'm going to do some tipping and cover the canvas. Just move that paint all over. Try and just get my corners. And sides. Bring it down to this corner. over the edge and in this corner checking my my edges and my corners as we go here and down this way Does not look like I will need to fill in with any white. Plenty of paint on here. Okay. I'm just going to bring it back here a little bit. Then I'll take a look at it. Still mixing that paint up, as you can see. And I will get this corner. Okay. 
bring it back a little bit. Okay. Just going to take a look at it now. And I did see something in my paint here. So I will remove that. And I'm going to give it a torch now. See if I bring anything up. Okay, and I think I am going to use my chain. Get this a little better in camera there. I think I will use my chain and just have some fun with it. I'll start out with my medium sized chain here. And just, just have some fun with that, dragging it through and picking up some color here and there. Okay, just going to take a look at it now. And I'm just going to see if I can make a few little swirly cues in here. Very busy painting.
just having fun with it. Okay, another torch, then I'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, I must say this one was a lot of fun. Just clean off the bottom here real quick. And I called this just a Puddle Pour Plus. And it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. So let's get you down for a close up. This is the upper left hand corner and you can see those swirlies that I added there. Just a fun painting. Lower left hand corner and I will take you up the middle here. This is definitely a good way to use up your paints your um, little paints that you have left over from other paintings. This is the upper right hand corner. And just a fun way to play with them. And the lower right hand corner. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share. Subscribe if you haven't. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.